Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Tactical Trainer and today we're going to be talking about if the new Japanese Scarlet EX and Violet EX sets can be weighed. I got the idea from watching Deep Pocket Monsters video on the Blue Sky Stream set in Japan. He ended up finding out that the packs that were heavier ended up having a higher probability of pulling a hit. This is because that set has no code card in it. So naturally the cards that have a hollow pattern in them are gonna weigh more than the ones without. Scarlet EX and Violet EX also don't have code cards in them. So the theory is the packs that are gonna be heavier are more likely to have a hit. So we're gonna weigh them today and see if that's right. So what I'll do is open up both boxes and each pack will be weighed on the scale. Each pack is gonna have its corresponding weight written on a little sticky note and we'll order them from lightest to heaviest and then we'll open them up and see if the theory is true. But first, if you like watching Pokemon content about investing, openings, and future set releases and you don't enjoy the typical Pokemon hype on YouTube with screaming and overreacting, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to my channel. But before we start, let's open these two promo packs that came with the boxes. Sweet, right on. Oh, the reverse pattern looks sick. All right, bonus pack number two. What the heck? That's why we have scissors. Man, that blue is like, almost looks like silver. All right, let's start with the first one. In case you guys didn't know, the new boxes have a pull tab on the side. Alright guys, so I just finished up weighing all the Scarlet EX packs, and the first thing I noticed was that how insane the difference is in weights. So the lightest one is 8.61. Also, right where this large gap happens to occur is exactly 15 packs on the bottom and 15 packs on the top so my guess is that the lower 15 packs are gonna have no hollows and all the tops are gonna have at least a hollow or better so what I'm gonna do now is cut the tops off all the packs for easier opening and we'll go ahead and see what the results are all right guys so I just finished opening up all the packs so let's get to it as you can see this is the lightest one And honestly, I'm not sure the pack trick on this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Next pack. Bruxish. Looking mighty fine. Holy cow, look at that art. Alright, next up. Touch Crow. Sandal. Watchroll. And muck. Alright, no surprises so far. This is kind of what I was expecting. Alright, next one. Cat turn. Alright, 632. Let's see what we got. Sandal, Skittle, Skidoo. Which one's this? Reverend? It's Angus. It's a Viper. Fitting. Kickleon. The Jam. 8640. So, yeah, the reason that I weighed them before cutting them is obviously because you want to keep the packs intact make sure that we're weighing everything all together and we're just getting the deviation of the shiny cardboard inside. 642. Surprise. Nothing. Kilowatt roll. 647. Drift bloom. That's a nice art. Dancing, meditate, do some yoga, wigglet, staraptor, silicobra, or sandaconda. 
I just get mixed up. All right, eight six four eight. Oh, we're getting up there now. We might might catch a hollow. We'll see. Swiper, Sandaconda, Penny, Fruitsel. All right, we got Go Go, Sandile. Man, that art's actually pretty sweet. Muck. Puckshish. Dedenny. Watch roll. First Beach. And Driftblood. Dolive. Starly. Or Starvea. Okay, turn. All right. This is the first uh, pack with a little bit more weight. This is one with uh, one tenth of a gram more than the last. So my prediction is, we'll say a hollow. We'll say a hollow. Nothing crazy. Tripoon. Shark. Le Chonk. What do you know? River room. Hollow. Okay. It's pretty cool. You know what? To celebrate uh, our first big one. We'll put you in the back. Alright, let's see what the next big one is. Kilowattro. Starly. Dedenny. You know what? Let's call him Room. Oh, Halucha. Another hollow. 8749. Starly, Dots Croak, Chardet, Clough, 8.757. see what we got. Spirela, Honeyard. Oh, our first pull. Check out the pattern on that. Zangoose, Go Go, Oh, Dondoza, Hollow Dondoza versus Reverse. Kind of like Reverse. Not gonna lie. All right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Magic Carp, Halucha again. Put you with your buddy back here. 8.764. Let's see what we got. This is the first time we see Mukaru. Small of all of them. That's awesome. Ooh, Armor Rouge. Alright. 8.775. Grimer. Curlia. Check that out. I know small of, I know doll of. Arbor all of. <laughs> Something like that. Never use them in the playthrough. All right, this is the first pack in the 8.8s. This should be our full art secret rares. Uh, something like that, a little bit more hollow. Uh, annoying Professor. Puizel, Raltz. Small live. Oh, a little dash button. 8.807. All right, Dolive. Dash button. The Great Tusk. Man, the hollow pattern is pretty sweet. It actually looks like hollow bleed on everything. All right, eight point eight one four. Let's see what we got. Asparza, Skidoo. Oh, sweet! Look at that armor rouge. That's one of the ones I was hoping to pull. Can I just say how nice it is to have perfectly centered cards in most packs? The Japanese are just. 
kill on the quality. Next pack. Let's see. Oh, Sandile. Man, that's such a nice art. Looks so much better in person. 8.815. Yeah, it's nice how the Pokemon company is giving these uh, basic Pokemon uh, a lot of love now. Like the artwork for that sand dial was pretty cool. And the slowpoke is insane. That is my chase card. Ho ho ho! Le Chomp got a makeover. What do you guys like better? The XY era EXs or these new ones? Pretty indifferent. I have a soft spot in my heart for the XY era, but these are pretty nice. All right, second to last pack. Weasel, small live, cardiovore. Last pack, let's see what we got. Repeat ball? No. Friend ball. Cacnea, Riolu. Oh, sweet. This is exactly what I was hoping to get for a secret rare. Man, the texture on this is crazy. Look at the centering too. Okay guys, so that's the Scarlet box opened. More of the story, these packs can be weighed. Let's move on to the Violet box and then we'll see if they're weighable as well. All right guys, so we're gonna be doing the same thing. I will weigh every single pack, I'll label it, order them from lightest to heaviest, cut open the tops, and we'll proceed. All right guys, so we just finished weighing all the packs. First thing I notice is that we're seeing the same pattern as in the Scarlet set. So you have the bottom 15 that weigh a lot lighter than the top 15. And again, there's uh, quite a discrepancy between the median packs. So there's a whole tenth of a gram difference between these two. And as a side note, you'll notice that there's some green labels mixed in. They don't mean anything else. I just ran out of pink labels. So the heaviest pack we have is 8.865 grams and the lightest is 8.6. So I'll cut off the tops and we'll get to opening. All right, guys, I've cut the tops off all the packs. Let's get started with the lightest one. All right, no sense of me doing the pack trick. Let's just look. Nada. Nada. So we'll keep going down the line. I'm not gonna do the pack trick because obviously, I think the expectation now is that there's not gonna be any hollows in any of these 15 packs, but uh, you never know, I guess. Six two nine. Six four four. Eight point six five three. Nada. I'll be surprised. Nope. First heavy pack. Let's see what's up. How do? Hollow cycles are. Well, it looks like our theory's true. Whoops. So you still not doing a pack trick. And for those who didn't see the last video, I never do a pack trick when I'm not doing a video, so. Man, this art's sweet, look at Look, Anger, Ghastly. Shove it down in the corner. Zap, Drift Driftbloom, X-Pack.
all right we're hoping that we get the slowpoke character rare that is the chase card squeal of it crazy dog cliff key 8.787 well that was a write-up of a pack <laughs> sweet honestly slowpoke and slow bro the goats 8.791 fortress is that serluge magneton Heinko. Palmont. 8.793. Rocky Helmet. <laughs> He's just chilling. Ship it. Oh, character rare. Okay, on to the next. Which ball, ship it. Rotom. All right, we're into the 8.8. So this is where things get interesting. Man, look at that face. I think it's the first time that Pokemon's ever even looked menacing. Caps Kid. Cyclers are again, okay. Okay, 8.806. Oh, Angry Dog again. Tana Mouse. Eight point eight three. Mankey. Oh, character rare. Oh, that's cool. His head's on fire. Is that what that is? 8.839 Cooking gym leader Magneton Alright, Maridon EX You know, every video I watch on YouTube I feel like this is a, a mandatory pull in a buy the box 8.842 Wow, the texture on this is killer. Third last pack. All right, Heracross. Sweet. And I'll be honest, I don't even remember what this guy's name is. Never use him in the playthrough. All right, second last pack. 8.855, pretty substantial. Uh, of a difference between this and the first pack. Drowsy, just chilling. Ooh, Magnezone. All right, last pack, 8.865. I don't know if that full art counted as a secret rare or not. I kind of hope not. But... Alright, Spurtoon, Candle Dog, Magnemite, Houndour. Alright, I won't complain. It's not bad. You know, I never realized that underneath his tusk is an actual digital face. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, well, what did we learn? Basically, don't buy loose packs of Scarlet EX or Violet EX. It's very obvious that these packs are all weighable. I definitely don't condone weighing packs whatsoever. This was just an interesting experiment to see exactly if it was possible or not. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this informative content, found it entertaining, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. We'll catch you in the next one.